What is going on everyone, it's here again. Today for you, some Call of Duty Black Ops 2 and the new personalization DLC here within Black Ops 2. So this is actually out for the Xbox 360 right now, it's going to be coming out for the PS3 and the PC later this month. But this DLC focuses all about personalization, uh, most notably new camouflage you get, new creative class slots you get, as well as new custom reticles you can get. So let's hop on this, let's check out this first camouflage. First camouflage we're going to be checking out is... Jungle Warfare. It's kind of a green, kind of an orange, kind of a jungly looking camouflage, and it also has a pretty decent looking reticle. I kind of like it a lot. Now, mind you, every camouflage also unlocks you a new red dot reticle, a new ACOG reticle, and a new EOTech reticle, so keep that in mind. Benjamins is our next one, and uh, I'm not entirely positive how much I actually like the Benjamins one. Um, I'm sure a lot of people like it. I mean, it looks somewhat decent, but for me, it's like, yeah, man, it's all right, I guess. But I do kind of like the uh, dollar sign on the red dot reticles. That one's pretty cool, but overall, I don't know. I just wasn't really overly taken by Benjamins. Hmm, maybe just my opinion. Next camouflage we have is I can't speak Spanish, so forgive me. Uh, Dia de Moretos? Did, did, did I pronounce that right? It's a pretty cool looking camo, right? It's kind of like this tribal looking camo. I actually like it. I actually like the uh, darker camos a lot more here in Black Ops 2. And it also has a pretty cool custom reticle, so you guys can hopefully check that out and enjoy it. But uh, overall, I kind of like it. I mean, I think it's definitely one of the better ones here within the personalization DLC here in Black Ops 2. Next camouflage is Graffiti. This is my favorite one. Can you tell why? It's a really cool looking camo. Just look at all the colors right here. Oh, it's gorgeous. I love the Graffiti camo. Uh, the red dot sight reticle it comes with is pretty ugly. But mind you, you're not forced to use one red dot reticle uh, as opposed to a different one. You can use, you know, any combination of them. But <laughs> I don't really like that reticle at all. I think it's pretty ugly. But Graffiti is definitely my favorite camouflage here within the personalization DLC here in Black Ops 2. Next camouflage we have is Kawaii. I'm a, I hope I'm pronouncing that right. Right? It's a it's a pink camo. It's got like a, I don't know what you call it, like little ice cream cone looking things on the side. It's got this like panda bear misfits. Uh, <laughs> I don't even know what you call any of this stuff. Skull candy maybe kind of style emblems. And I don't know. It's decent looking. Next camo is Party Rock. And I can definitely tell this is going to be one of the favorites of the DLC pack. It's actually kind of this purplish uh, leopard print. And it comes with a star reticle. So it's definitely going to be a favorite I can tell amongst uh, the Call of Duty community. Although I still think, I'm still holding true that I think Graffiti is going to be the number one choice for most people. Next one we have Zombies. Now this is one I was excited for and I was kind of disappointed about as well. Uh, you can barely make it out, but on the side, on the back, lot, there is a bunch of different zombies. You can tell by the blue eyes and whatnot. And it does come with a pretty cool reticle, but I was definitely disappointed by the zombie one. I think they could have done something a little bit better with it, rather than just make it this kind of reddish, kind of brownish, gross looking. Uh, they should have made it black, maybe with a couple zombies on there to kind of make them pop out, but uh, that's what they went with. Next one, we have Viper, and Viper is kind of like a snakeskin camo. I don't know, I've just never really been a fan of these brown snake kind of camos, but I do really, really, really like the reticle. The reticle is probably my favorite. Uh, out of the uh, new DLC here, so uh, take from that what you will. I definitely think it's a good one. And for the final one, we have Bacon. <laughs> this camouflage is just goofy, man. So I don't like Bacon, personally. I mean, you guys may like Bacon. I don't really care for Bacon, but it comes with this custom uh, oink reticle here on your gun and the gun is wrapped in bacon and the rest of the gun kind of has like this greasy look to it can you tell that so it's definitely kind of a neat camouflage that everyone thinks it's gonna be a popular camouflage here within black ops 2. next we're gonna be showing how to actually get this dlc so basically you just go to your store and you go all the way down past avatars to the personalization pack now like i said every camouflage is within here i think they cost 160 microsoft points each and if you were to buy a 1600 Microsoft point card, I think you have enough for every camouflage plus new custom class slots, so you guys can check that out. And as you're looking at this, keep in mind that what you're seeing is every single reticle you get. It can be your Red Dot reticle, your ACOG reticle, or your EOTech reticle. Uh, each, each camouflage comes with uh, different ones, so keep that in mind. It's a pretty neat thing overall, but then again, I'm not much of an EOTech or an ACOG guy. You can go down the Calling Cards pack this year thing. They're about 80 Microsoft points each. You can get the North America, the South America, the African, the Europe, or the Asia Pacific pack, which will just give you different kinds of countries as your player card background. And here is your extra slots pack, which is probably my favorite part of it. Uh, it allows you to have a whole bunch of new things. It allows you to get uh, new films, uh, new screenshots for your theater mode, as well as new classes. How do new classes work? So instead of just having 10 classes or 5 classes or wherever you have, you have class sets. So right here, I just recently reset my stats. I'll make a video about that someday. But uh, right now, you see my 5 custom classes. That's my class set 1. Right, that's what it is. So I can go, I can press RB or LB or whatever console you're on, and uh, go over to my next set of guns, which is pretty neat. And you have 10 of these. So overall, you can have anywhere between 50 to 100 creative classes. Now keep in mind, whatever class set you have highlighted, like whatever is the one that's like showing up on your screen, that's the class set that you'll be able to use in game. Not all 50 to 100 custom classes are within the game when you're actually playing the game. 
So you kind of have to pick a class set and then that before the match starts and that's the one you use. And that's kind of how it works. And I still think it's kind of a cool thing. It's definitely kind of a neat thing. So hope you guys all enjoyed this video. Hopefully you guys can found it informative. Hopefully you guys have a little bit more information as to what the DLC holds and whether or not you want to get it. Whether or not you want to participate within the personalization DLC here in Black Ops 2. But if you enjoyed the video, please remember to leave a rating. Definitely helps the video grow. Helps my channel grow. And if you're new around here, if you just found the video, remember to subscribe. Subscribing is a good thing. So hope you guys all enjoyed. Please remember to leave a rating. Hope you guys all have a wonderful day.